Hello and welcome to this little tutorial where I will show you how to create these worn edges inside of Blender with Octane. And here on the right side you can see the material I have already made that you can see here on the left hand side on my cube. And it's it looks quite complicated at the first moment but um, when we go through each step of creating this material, I think it is quite simple in itself. Um, the main contents are two materials that we combine into one with this mixed material node. And then we take a dirt material or dirt texture um, and modify this texture a little bit and pick, take it as the amount for our uh, mixing for these two lower materials. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So let's get started. Um, for now, I will just delete all of this material. And if I now render the cube again that I have in my scene here on the left hand side, just with an HDRI, nothing fancy. Um, then we can start creating our material again. So the first thing that we will do is to add our dirt material. So we press Shift A and search for dirt texture. Here we have the dirt texture. Um, I will say dirt material and dirt texture, um, but I always mean this dirt texture node. And um, if we now add in with Shift A again a diffuse material, we can put this diffuse material into our surface of the material output. And now this material, this diffuse material, is applied to the cube on the left hand side here. And if we plug in the dirt texture into the diffuse of our diffuse material, um, we will be able to see um, how the dirt texture affects um, the mixture of the two materials later on. So that is a really important step in order to see what we do here in our dirt texture. So if we go to this dirt texture node, um, we have a couple of sliders that we have to change in order to get the effect we want. The first thing that uh, is important is that we want to invert uh, normals down here. And as you can see right now, the edges have become a little bit darker on our cube. And this is exactly what we want because we want to put the first material where the black lines are now appearing on our cube. And we put uh, want to take our other material and put it where the white parts are on our cube now. So um, this effect is not strong enough yet. We want our um, edges to be quite dark. And we can take up the strength. And as you can see right now, we will get this effect. And um, I want to add a little bit of detail just for us to have a little bit more to look at um, when we are finished with the material. And like that, we can see that the uh, edge that I beveled into this cube is quite dark now. And we have a little bit of um, uh, dark bleaching into the white here. That is just um, for, for the good looks because then the scratches and everything is um, basically merging together with the other material a little bit nicer. If you want a harsh corner, you can um, pull back the details or you can pull it up. Just uh, change these uh, settings as you want them. Um, that really depends on what you are looking for. Um, okay, so, so far so good. What we want to add now is a radius map because the radius map is basically telling the dirt texture how to to look. It's giving it a, a little bit of texture um, that it is not um, basically a clean uh, a gradient between the outer part, the black part and the white part. Um, and we will do that by adding an image texture by pressing Shift A again and searching for image texture. 
And of course, you can drag and drop an uh, image, image texture into this um, yeah, um, shading viewport or the shading edit, shader editor, sorry. And um, then you have the exact same. I will open it separately. So if I press open and I now go to my location where my textures are stored, then I will be able to open up my texture. So in my case, it's a roughness uh, material or a roughness texture that I just took from the material. Um, if I go down here, you can see it's a metal, uh, uh, a metal texture, but it is basically for the roughness channel of the texture. But um, for our purposes, it's just fine. Um, if you have a quite a big material library, you can go through there. I um, find that roughness materials are quite good for that because they, they are basically from the color scheme, from how they look, they are good for using them as a radius map in here. So I take this uh, image texture and I plug it into the radius map. And as you can see, a lot of stuff is changing over here. Um, if we zoom in, we can see that the um, color distribution of the black color is not as even anymore and there are slight details in there. Um, in order to get a good projection of this image texture on our cube, we will have to add a little bit more. So we press Shift A again and we search for a box projection. Depending on what kind of object you have, you may need a different projection mode. Um, what works for me best a couple of uh, a lot of times is the um, XYZ to UVW projection. I use these two a lot because they are pretty simple and they uh, save a lot of time um, when it comes to projecting image image textures on objects. Okay, in order to manipulate the scale, we will click on the little plus and it will add a transform value node. And if we take the scale and I can click into the first one and then hold the left mouse button, drag it down uh, till all three are selected. And now I can pull it to the left or the right in order to increase and decrease the scale of our texture. So in this case, we want to go for a texture scale that is not too big and not too small. We want to preserve detail, but it shouldn't be too small because it tends to look a little bit silly. I think that this is actually okay. Um, if, if the default values look great, just leave the transform value node as it is. But in our case, I think this is a pretty good um, yeah, middle ground. And uh, now we can plug the dirt texture out of the diffuse material because we don't need the diffuse material for now. Um, you can just plug it out and put it away, or in my case, I will delete it. And now we press Shift A again and add a mix material node. Here it is. And now we will take this material out and plug it into the surface of the material output. And now we can put the texture out of the dirt texture and put it into the mixed material amount. Okay, so far so good. What we have to add now are two different materials. Um, so we press Shift A again and we search for, in my case, a universal material. Um, in your case, it could be different if you want to do such an effect with glass or anything else. It works exactly um, like that, but with other material nodes. We take the universal material, we plug the material out into the first material. And just to illustrate what we are doing, I will put this into a blue color scheme for now. And we press Shift A again and search for another universal material and plug the material out of this material into the second material. Now I will take the albedo and put it on to red. And if I zoom out, we can see how this um, dirt texture is now affecting our cube. 
and uh, this is exactly what we were looking for and um, of course we go for a look where the blue parts that are now blue are i don't know a kind of paint on our cube and the red parts are um, the worn edges that are looking like metal um, so let's change this back to white um, it has don't has to be perfect and um, we do the same for this material like that and now the material that is in the plugged into the second material of our mixed material um, will go metallic so we pull up the metallic uh, slider here in the universal material and just like that the material is looking like metal so so far so good um, now we will change the color of our other universal material i will make it um, a little bit darker just so we can see um, the um, different materials a little bit better and now comes a really important step so when we take a look here at the right side uh, on the left side um, in our viewport where everything is rendered we can see that there is our dark universal material in the middle here but there's such a big gradient that this material is almost uh, not to be seen and in order to change that we will now add in a gradient texture just take this gradient texture and put it in between the dirt texture and the mixed material and now we have these two sliders here and if we pull the white slider all over to the left we can see that we now have changed the um, the distribution of the darker material and now it is just about to touch the edges of our cube um, so that's exactly exactly what we want um, we can even pull these together a little bit more and now we can see that the edges are appearing much sharper than before and that's the look that i want to go for if you don't want that you can change that of course but um, for this case it looks perfect i will try to get a little bit more detail and we can maybe put the strength up a little bit that looks great so what we want to do now is to give our edge a little bit more depth and we want to do that by adding a bump map to the corners or the edges of our cube and um, we will do that by plugging in our image texture into the bump of our second universal material and um, we will do that with in a gradient texture again in order to have a little bit more control over what we are doing so we press shift a again and search for a gradient texture we put it here and we plug the out texture into the bump and now we can take this node and get it a little bit more up and now we grab the image textures out texture and pl plug it into the texture of the gradient texture and as you can see here on the left side um, our cube is now having these little uh, tiny scratches and this is exactly what we want but of course um, currently these scratches are all over the place so we have to adjust our dirt texture and this gradient texture a little bit so we pull it down here and now we will basically try to imitate this gradient texture up here in order to get a sharp corner or a sharp edge of um, the bump texture now yeah a little bit like that let's leave it like that for now now we have to adjust our dirt texture because as we can see down here the um, image texture is now affecting basically everything um, also the parts that shouldn't be affected we really want this effect only um, 
on the edges of our cube. So we go into our dirt texture and we change some values here. Um, I would say maybe around 3.34 with the strength and we can pull the details up to um, 67.95 the radius we can put on 6.54 and now we can add some tolerance as well yeah and that looks much better um, you of course can copy these values just uh, to to get to this point where we have like this this really cool effect on the edges i think that the the bump map doesn't look right like it is so we go down to the gradient texture right next to the second universal material and we adjust our gradient texture a little bit more I think we should try to scale this a little bit more properly. Yeah, that looks much better. A little bit smaller is uh, better because we don't have such a high resolution texture um, or image texture. The image texture we are using here is not as high resolution. Um, so it's always better to keep it um, scaled down in order to get more detail when you zoom so close in like I did in this case. And uh, yeah, well, that looks totally fine. I'm pretty happy with that. We have a little bit of tiling down here that looks pretty cool. And um, yeah, we have now a cube with worn edges. Of course, we can take the color down a little bit more here in order to see our effect a little bit better. And we, of course, can make this material much rougher and take the specular away. And then this effect gets even stronger. Um, so I hope you could follow along. It is quite a complex material for a beginner, but I think somebody who has worked with Blender previously or especially with Octane um, can follow along pretty easily and this texture is not that difficult. So if you like that video and if I could help you uh, with creating such a worn edge on your objects, um, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time. Um, yeah, goodbye.